Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. Since I've been getting so many questions, I'm just gonna say this right off the bat at the start, and that is on my other channel, Sonia Miller. I'll link it below. YouTube now has this really cool handle thing. I went ahead, subscribed to it. So if you do at the at symbol, which looks like an A with a circle around it, Sonia Miller, Sonia with an I Miller, it will take you right to my thrifting channel where we do the advent adventures of picking, thrifting, going out and about and finding stuff that we can flip for a profit. Sometimes things are awesome just as is. And then sometimes we find stuff like this, which kind of lends itself to me on my creative side, which is what this channel is all about. So if you ever see somebody on my Sonia Miller channel saying, hey, I miss your painting. Like, don't you paint anymore? I do. I just have a place, create it for that. And that is this place here, this channel called Brush Life. And again, if you ever want to find the Brush Life channel, just put the A symbol, the at symbol, Brush Life. It will take you right to it. And this is where I do all the creative flips. I have realized one thing um, as I move forward in my business, and that is not everybody wants to see me paint. And that is not everybody wants to see me thrift. So I've created two different um, places to find those things. And what I'm basically doing is I do a thrift fill video, and then I get to a creativity video uh, and back and forth. And so on my last Sonya, last video on my Sonya Miller channel, you guys saw me do my thrift pick. And now here we are on Brush Life and we're going to get creative. And so I'm excited because it is Sunday. We've had a busy weekend. Of course, we had Black Friday. We had Small Business Saturday yesterday. And it's Sunday right now. And you should be watching this. It all goes as planned so I can get this up for you guys as well um, tonight. And what I'm going to do now, it's just me and Matt in the store. You can hear him out front. He's kind of dealing with some customers, taking care of them right now. And he's doing the front end, end of the business. And I'm getting to work on a few things that I need to get to as well. Kind of back here in the back end of the building. So we picked these up. Who watched that video where we went out, we picked, we thrift, and we got these frames. I love it. And I had to do a little repair right here with a crack, but I don't care. It's still beautiful. There's glue. There's a thing called glue that exists. And you guys know I love to paint with character anyhow. So I am going to paint each of these and basically give them whole new life. And that's my plan today. I'm going to work on this one first, I think. And um, yeah, just get this one knocked out. Matt's good over there. He's got it. And this is the other section of my store. And this is where we do gatherings. This is where like, you hear me speak of yoga classes. All that sort of stuff happens in here. And it's a really nice big open space. And uh, you can tell, yes, we have done some painting on the walls. This hutch right here, I got it um, at an estate sale, and I definitely have to paint it. That one over there is sitting waiting. It was given to me for free. I did a whole video on that when I picked it up. Video on that when I picked it up. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get myself set up. You're seeing the behind the scenes here. I want to film a tutorial today of myself when I flip this thrift piece. And I'm going to share my process of creating shabby posies that you guys have um, come to know me for that I love to paint. I love to paint flowers, whimsical things, that sort of thing. And today I'm going to film my first shabby floral tutorial. And so this is the behind the scenes. I'm, I just grabbed some paper um, that obviously a shop wrapped up some of my thrift finds in. I'm going to repurpose that. Probably grab that black table over there. You see this? I'm using my paper to point at. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get set up. And get set up for a good place to film. No idea what this cord is to. What is that cord to? Maybe it is just a extension cord? Yep. I like it. I painted this table as well. I have a lot of tape. I just keep moving them around. Hey friends, it is Sonia Miller with Junk Monkey Paint Company, and thanks for joining me for a little paint with me session. This is going to be the first in a series of shabby florals and whimsical paintings that I hope to offer maybe weekly as a weekly challenge. So if you enjoy my art, um, then definitely stay tuned. Keep a watch on the website for more tutorials to be posted. Thank you for supporting me and my small business. So I am back at my desk and this is what I've been working on right here. I'm in Canva and I am working on creating a cover uh, for 
what will be my tutorial. And I think I'm pretty happy with this. I figure maybe I'll do a art challenge a week and um, see if anybody wants to join in with me. I've been going through a 30 day personal paint challenge myself um, just to, you know, it's like riding a bike. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So I've been, you know, working on painting in my own spare time but you guys have been asking for so long if I would share like how I paint my shabby flowers. And I do have a technique that I've just kind of, you know, found myself doing and it works every single time. So this is the most basic, you know, very, this is a great starting point. Um, yeah, I have so many ideas. Once I start painting flowers and doing stuff like this, it just makes me want to go and paint everything with flowers. Like, you know that big hutch that um, we've been working on in the last video? Part of me feels like once I get it all done in that purple and violet, maybe I should put flowers and vines all over the front of it in my style. Not what was there before, but in my style. Anyhow, um, so I'm just kind of putting together this little thumbnail and it should soon be ready. And I've got to say, I am pretty proud of myself. I'm gonna give my own self a pat on the back because I've been wanting to do this for a long time and taking your painting process and turning it into a tutorial, you know, when you're in your head and you're like, how do I explain what I do? Because when you're so creative, sometimes you just go on and do your own thing and it happens naturally. So I pressed myself to really slow down and describe what I was doing step by step. And I think I got it done. I think that you guys will enjoy it. And another reason why I'm so happy is um, this is my book, Follow Your Heart. And I write down stuff that I'm going to do. Like, so right here, you can't see number uh, two and number three, but, because they are coming as well, but number one right here is where I describe what I'm going to do. And um, so yeah, I have two more tutorials already planned out. And like I said, with each one, like doing just different techniques and stuff and being creative. So if you guys want to join in, um, my goal is to do at least one a week. Now, sometimes I might get a little crazy and maybe, maybe release more because, you know, if you feel like you want to paint, you feel like you want to paint. But there is a lot. Maybe I'll just limit to myself to one a week because that will give other people a chance to paint it. Although I'd like, I'd like to at least get three up. We'll see. You know, this is personal goals to myself. At least, I feel like if I have three, then I have a collection. You know, it's a good starting point. So I'll probably pump out my two other ones that I have planned this week and get that done. It feels good. Now being on the other side of um, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, just getting through the remainder of this weekend. Um, today was very busy again for us today. It was amazing. But um, it's just really good when you get through something that you know is blocked it on your calendar. This was a very, very big, big weekend. So feeling good about getting creative and just knocking out the rest of these that I have planned. And like I said, this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. You guys have been asking me for for a long time. And I feel like I had now I now have some space in my life to be able to do that. So going into winter if you would like to um you know step more into your painting into an abstract loose just having fun with it i know when i paint it brings me joy and i hope it does to you as well so um just finishing what i have to do here now to put it onto the website and as soon as you see this video go live it means that i can tell tell you it's not right yet but by the time if you see this video it means it's actually happened that I can honestly say, now it is done. It is on my website. Um, and if you're interested, you can go and take advantage of it, that tutorial. Knowing that it is Cyber Monday tomorrow, that is not lost on me. And so I thought this would be a fun way to launch it um, because I am gonna do a Cyber Monday special, meaning that for the first, for like the first 24 hours, Monday only, um, that you can get some savings just to kick it off. I think it will be good for people as well to, um, you know, if you've done any of my coaching before, business coaching, um, or you follow me with paint tutorials before, you kind of know how I coach and how I teach. And I think, you know, getting the first one up as this is something new that I'm embarking on, this new journey of sharing my art process. So prints before, um, you know, original arts, all those sorts of things. 
but this particular part of doing tutorials where I'm teaching people online, which is amazing because you can teach people all over the world and I have followers all over the world. Tell me where you're watching from today. So, um, but yeah, if you get the first one, then you'll understand my style and kind of what I'm going for. But I think it's just a really nice, relaxing time. So I could really see people like I wish that I had this and that I could see myself sitting this winter. It's a little chilly outside, sitting down and just, you know, with a cup of tea with my paints and having a really nice, relaxing paint session and coming away with it at the end of the session with a finished um, painting to be proud of. All right, guys, so I better get back to work. So if you see this video, it means it's now live and I will link it below and I'll put it up on the screen as well where um, you can find where all my tutorials will live. So thank you for um, doing life with me, doing art with me and making history together. All right, woohoo! See you on the next video. Bye.